Hi everyone, in this video we will apply Meta's NuGet model for optical character recognition on scientific and academic papers. Let's first review the model itself. NuGet is an encoder-decoder transformer model that can parse through PDFs to extract text, LaTeX math, and tables. NuGet is built using the Document Understanding Transformer, or Donut Architecture. The model uses a visual encoder that crops the image to a specified size and outputs a sequence of embedded patches. The encoded image is decoded into a sequence of tokens using a transformer decoder. The team at Meta trained NuGet on over a million articles from Archive, PubMed Central, and the Industry Documents Library. NuGet outputs the information from PDFs into a multi-markdown file output. NuGet can be fine-tuned or trained on a specified dataset. If you want to learn more about NuGet's technical details, Check out the link to the research paper on NuGet in the References and Additional Learning section of the notebook. If you're following along in the notebook, I would recommend either using a web IDE such as Google Colab or setting up a virtual environment. If you're following along in Google Colab, we're going to change the runtime to a GPU runtime. The way that we do that is we're going to select Runtime, then we're going to go to Change Runtime, and select the T4 GPU. Next, what we'll do is import the modules that we'll use besides NuGet, which are IPython and OS. Then we will install NuGet using pip and git. Once we have NuGet installed, we can call it from the command line. The way that we do that in a Jupyter environment is with an exclamation point. We'll start with exclamation point, then NuGet. Then we'll do dash h to get information on NuGet itself. Here we can see the parameters listed for NuGet. We have dash H for help. We can also modify the batch size. We can look at the checkpoints. We have this out parameter, which is where we will output the mark multi-markdown files. We have recompute, which can recompute PDFs. Markdown, which allows the multi-markdown to be compatible with just regular markdown. And finally, the path to the PDF. Let's move on to actually OCRing a PDF. And we'll first convert a native PDF file into multi-markdown using NuGet. Let's take a look at the PDF that we'll convert. We can see that we have the postulates of quantum mechanics. We have various different things here. We have different sections. We have equations. And we are going to see how well NuGet can render this. Google Colab uses Linux as its underlying operating system, and we will use curl to download the PDF into our content folder. We'll start with an exclamation point, then call curl. And I am going to name this PDF quantumphysics.pdf, and we need to also include the dash O when we're doing this. Finally, we put in the URL. We can select our folder here, and we can check that we have downloaded it, and we've successfully downloaded the file. Next, we'll call NuGet to OCR the PDF. We'll start again with the exclamation point. And I'm going to put in dash dash markdown to make this compatible with earlier markdown rather than just multi markdown. And I'm going to put in the path for the PDF. And we can hit the three buttons here and we can copy the path and paste it here. Finally, I want to output this to a new directory. We'll call it dash dash out. And then I will name this directory or folder physics. Let's run the cell. And we can see that we created our directory. Looks like I misspelled physics and we just have physic. That is fine. And we have our multi markdown file here. What we could do first is display this within markdown. The way that I'll do that is clay, we'll call the display.markdown function and run this. And we can see here that we have the output. We have the titles here, and we can see that we have varying sizes. The main titles up here, then we have the subtitles here. We can also see that we have some math rendering, and this is in LaTeX. What I'm also going to do is download this locally, and we'll copy and paste the output into Overleaf, which is a LaTeX editor. And I have this up in VS Code. I'm going to hit Control A, copy all this and I am going to go into Overleaf and copy and paste it, and we can take a look at how this renders. We can see here that we have the mathematical equations. It doesn't quite capture the titles here, which is okay. This is more to demonstrate how NuGet can capture the equations from a PDF. 
Let's go back to our notebook. What we'll do next is we are going to convert a scanned PDF. Let's take a look at it. And here we have this Fundamental Equations of Quantum Man Mechanics by Paul Dirac. And we can see here that it, unlike the previous one, it is scanned in and is, is not natively digital. We'll take a look at how well NuGet does at OCRing this. Like before, we are going to call curl in order to download this PDF. If we refresh our folder, we can see that we downloaded the PDF. We are going to call NuGet again, and I'm just going to take this and copy it. The only difference I'll make is I will change the path and retitle it. I am going to copy the path for our fundamental quantum e equations PDF paste it here, and we are still outputting this into the physic directory. Now that we have this one downloaded, we will also display it in Markdown. And again, we can see that we have the different subtitles here. We can see some of the equations have been rendered, but we also have others that aren't. So like before, I am going to download this locally and copy and paste it into LaTeX so we can get a better idea of how the equations render. And from Visual Studio, I'm going to copy all this and then paste it. And we can see that it doesn't exactly paste. You'll probably have to do some formatting if you're looking to do that into a renderer like LaTeX. But we have the equations here, and it looks like it's done a decent job in capturing them, even though it's a scanned PDF. Let's go back to our notebook. Next, what we'll learn to do is we are going to see how we can batch process multiple PDFs into multi-markdown. And in this case, let's say that I have all these lectures from MIT OpenCourseWare. And I want to take the first four and I want to OCR them just so I can have them for some use in LaTeX or Overleaf. Let's go back. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a directory to store all these PDFs. I'll call it PDFs, and we are going to call exclamation point, then mkdir. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to call curl four times, and we're going to save all the PDFs into the PDF folder. And I will actually call it PDFs. Now that we have those created, I am going to create a variable to start, store the NuGet command, and I'll call it NuGet CMD. And in this case, I'm going to save it as a string that we can execute. And I am going to take the command here, and it's going to go from NuGet markdown, and it's going to save it into a directory that I will call batch directory. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to input the path, the PDFs directory here. I'm going to copy this. I'll call this PDF paths. And I'm going to save this as a Python string. Next, what I want to do is I want to iterate over all the PDFs here. We're going to use a for loop. And we're going to call the OS module. And I am going to call list dir, which is going to list all the PDFs in the directory. And this is based on the PDF path. Then I am going to call os.system. And what this allows us to do is to run a command line call such as NuGet. And in this case, it's going to be the NuGet command. I'm going to use f strings to do this. So we'll start with an f. And then next, I am going to put in the NuGet command into our curly braces here. Then I am going to call the PDF, and we are going to OCR the PDF from content PDFs. Then we need another slash here, then another pair of curly braces, and then we're going to OCR the PDF one through four. Let's run this. If you're following along, this could take three to four minutes to run. Let's go into our batch directory and check, and we can see that we have processed all of the PDFs into multi markdown. Like before, we'll quickly display this in markdown. We can see here that we have the different titles. Again, we have the equations. And this time, I'll spare us of going into LaTeX. If you want to take this 
and try the multi markdowns and pasting them in Overleaf, I re highly recommend playing around with it. Thanks everyone for watching, I hope that this video was helpful. I included the documentation for NuGet, which includes the paper on Archive if you want to get more into the technical detail, or if you just want to look through the code, you can check out the GitHub repository for NuGet. If you found the video helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, Medium, and Odyssey. Thanks again everyone for watching, and happy coding!